Each day, more than 20 million banknotes are printed worldwide, leading the highest security factories in each country to work long hours to meet this demand. But how is a banknote made? Let's explore one of these factories to learn about the banknote manufacturing process. The history of banknote manufacturing dates back several centuries and reflects the evolution of economies and societies. The first banknotes appeared in China during the Tang Dynasty, around the 7th century, as a solution to the need to facilitate trade. Instead of transporting large amounts of coins, merchants began using paper notes that represented a specific amount of money. The practice of issuing banknotes expanded during the Song Dynasty in the 11th century, when the Chinese government issued the first official banknotes. These were backed by the state's gold and silver, which helped gain public trust. Over time, the idea of banknotes spread throughout Asia and eventually to Europe. In the 17th century, European banks began issuing banknotes as promises of payment that could be exchanged for precious metals. As economies expanded and evolved, so did banknote production. In the 18th century, more advanced printing techniques were developed, such as lithography and intaglio printing, allowing for the creation of more complex and secure banknotes. During this time, Security features like watermarks and special inks were introduced to prevent counterfeiting. With the advent of the 20th century, banknote production became industrialised and automated processes were implemented to improve efficiency and security. Many countries began adopting polymer banknotes instead of paper due to their greater durability and resistance to wear. Today, banknotes incorporate multiple security features such as holograms, colour-shifting inks and barcodes, reflecting a continuous commitment to authenticity and protection against counterfeiting. Currently, banknotes are an important symbol of the global economy, and despite the rise of digital transactions, their history remains fundamental to understanding how we handle money today. So, what is the process inside a banknote factory? The banknote manufacturing process begins with the design, where a team of graphic designers and artists collaborate to create an attractive and functional layout. This design not only includes vibrant colours and significant symbols, but also incorporates portraits that reflect the country's rich cultural and historical identity. From the outset, special attention is paid to security features to prevent counterfeiting ensuring that each banknote is authentic. Once the design is approved, the selection of materials proceeds. Banknotes are made from a mix of high-quality paper or polymer, a plastic material that provides greater durability. This specialised paper, made from cotton and linen fibres, is not only resistant to wear, but also has a unique texture that facilitates the tactile identification of the banknote. During the paper manufacturing, complex security measures are integrated, such as watermarks and security threads, which provide an additional layer of protection against counterfeiting. Security threads are a critical component in banknote manufacturing in general. These threads, usually made of a magnetic material, are woven into the paper and become visible when the banknote is held against the light. They generally include relevant information like the denomination and other security elements. Thanks to their magnetic properties, these threads allow the use of sophisticated detection methods. Watermarks involve the incorporation of a careful design that includes specific images or patterns, which are visible when the banknote is held against the light. These marks may include portraits, symbols, or texts that are representative of the banknote's identity. During the paper manufacturing, special moulds are used to create variations in the material's thickness by adding or removing fibres in certain areas. This technique allows light to filter differently through those sections, revealing the watermark. Notably, the watermark is integrated directly into the paper during its production, meaning it is part of the material itself rather than simply printed on the surface. This characteristic makes watermarks extremely difficult to replicate, 
providing an additional level of security and authenticity to the banknote. Furthermore, a metallic foil is applied to the paper using pressure and heat, which further reinforces its strength and authenticity. The next stage in banknote production is printing, which is carried out in several steps, starting with the creation of a background that includes base colours and security patterns. Then, images and texts are superimposed using specialised printing techniques that ensure a high quality result. For the most technologically advanced banknotes, a method called intaglio printing is used, employing meticulously engraved steel or copper plates to capture every detail of the banknote. These plates are placed in offset printing presses, where ink adheres to the engraved areas, creating the complex patterns and images of the banknote. An important step is offset transfer a process that involves transferring the plate's design to a rubber cylinder and subsequently to the banknote's paper sheet. This process is repeated for each colour in the design, allowing for a vibrant and detailed visual appearance that is fundamental to the banknote's identity. The inks used in banknote manufacturing play a crucial role in the currency's security and authenticity. Among these, colour-shifting inks are especially interesting as they react to light or the angle from which they are viewed, causing a colour change and a dynamic visual effect. This type of ink is common in higher denomination banknotes, where the design seeks to impress and secure at the same time. Additionally, ultraviolet inks are used, which are invisible to the naked eye but glow intensely under UV light. These inks add layers of security that can only be verified with appropriate lighting, making counterfeiting even more difficult. Finally, some heat-sensitive inks can change colour or even disappear when heat is applied, providing another level of authenticity. This set of specialised inks not only enhances the aesthetics of the banknotes, but also reinforces their security, ensuring their integrity in the market. In this printing phase, holograms are also incorporated, playing a fundamental role in enhancing the security of higher denomination banknotes in general. These holographic elements incorporate dynamic features such as colour shifting effects or moving images that alter their appearance when viewed from different angles. The complexity in producing these holograms makes them highly resistant to replication by counterfeiters, thus ensuring the authenticity and reliability of the currency in circulation. After being printed, the banknotes go through a process of serial number application using high-speed automated machines. Unique identification numbers, composed of letters and digits, are precisely stamped on the back and front depending on the origin of each banknote. These numbers not only allow traceability, but also enhance the banknote's security and authenticity. Each number indicates the specific place of printing and is fundamental for tracking the circulation and origin of each banknote. Advanced scanning technology plays an essential role in this process, amplifying the banknote's details hundreds of times. High-resolution scanners examine every aspect, searching for any possible imperfections. This exhaustive approach ensures that each banknote meets its precise specifications and adheres to strict quality standards before being released to the market. Another technique to reinforce banknote security is microprinting, involving minuscule texts and patterns intricately printed in specific areas of the banknotes, often around symbols like the currency sign or within design elements. Microprinting is difficult to replicate with standard printing techniques, acting as a deterrent for counterfeiters attempting to reproduce the banknotes. Once the banknotes have been printed, they enter a crucial finishing process. In this phase, they are cut to the exact size and additional treatments are applied to guarantee their durability. One of these treatments is lamination, which provides protection against moisture and wear, ensuring that the banknotes maintain their quality over time. The next important aspect in production is the careful counting and separation of the banknote sheets. During each printing stage, the sheets are meticulously counted to maintain precision 
and avoid errors. After passing a rigorous inspection, the banknotes advance to the cutting and separation stage. Here, specialised cutting machines trim the large printed sheets into individual banknotes with great precision. This step is essential to ensure that each banknote has a uniform size and shape, facilitating handling and counting during distribution. The cutting machines operate with precision, dividing stacks of 100 sheets into strips and then into piles of individual banknotes. Additionally, automated quality control is carried out to verify that all Euro banknotes are identical, regardless of their place of production. Throughout these stages, Attention to detail is paramount. Each banknote is subjected to meticulous scrutiny to ensure its authenticity, durability and visual appeal, thus ensuring it meets the required standards. Once the banknotes have been cut into individual pieces, the next step is to classify them according to their denominations. This process is efficiently carried out by automatic machines that scan and organise the banknotes into specific packages for each category. Generally, these packages contain standardised quantities, frequently grouping 100 or 1,000 banknotes, which facilitates their handling and security. To secure these packages, special bands or straps are used, which are additionally sealed with adhesive tape or seals, helping to maintain the integrity of the packaging and prevent unauthorised access. Before being wrapped in self-adhesive plastic film, the banknotes are reviewed and counted again, and then neatly stacked in cardboard containers that are slightly larger than a shoebox. Each box is designed to hold up to 10,000 banknotes. Each package receives a label that includes essential information, such as the denomination. After being classified and packaged, the banknotes are stored in high security vaults designed to protect them from theft, fire, and other potential risks. These vaults are equipped with strict security protocols and advanced monitoring systems, guaranteeing the protection and integrity of the banknotes at all times. Thus, the storage environment ensures that the banknotes remain in perfect condition, ready to be distributed when needed in the Eurozone circulation. Finally, the banknotes enter circulation, where they are used by the public for daily transactions. As they are used, the banknotes wear out and are eventually withdrawn from circulation to be destroyed. The manufacturing process is continuously repeated to ensure that there are enough high-quality banknotes available. And that's how millions of banknotes are made daily. Tell me, what did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the windows you'll see next, there are more videos that might catch your attention. Don't miss them. See you next time.